Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to our live clearing event. Hello. <laughs> My name's Vicky. I'm the city manager for Portsmouth Uni Life, and with me we have Kim, who's in our sales and marketing team. So today we're going to talk to you a little bit about clearing, as we know it's um, that sort of time of the year, and we're going to speak to you about Portsmouth as a city and also Uni Life and the accommodation options we have for you. So just to start, I'll just let you know about Uni Life in Portsmouth. So we have our Middle Street building, which we'll be taking a tour of a little bit later. We have our St. James building, and we also have our Elsbin building. Three fantastic locations, all close to the university buildings. Our Middle Street building is actually right opposite the University Eldon building, popular with architecture students. Um, so yeah, great, fantastic location, and also close to the city centre as well. So we'll go through all the different things that Unilife has to offer. Um, they'll be mentioned in the tour of the Middle Street building where you'll see a couple of our different studios and obviously myself and Kim are here as well. So if you have any questions throughout, just drop us a message in the comment box and we'll be happy to answer. So Kim um, is one of our members in our sales and marketing team, as I mentioned earlier, and she was actually a student that stayed with us um, during her time at university. So Kim, if you want to give us a little bit of background information and how you found your time at Unilife with us. Yeah, um, obviously when I was staying with Unilife, um, we were still able to host normal social events as usual, which is a, I think a huge, huge part of what Unilife has to offer and what you can kind of really enjoy <laughs> as a student is like the best part of it is you know for people to get together and to have events going on um, and I think it's very very important to mention that Unilever is actually making a huge effort to still host um, social distance friendly events um, so we do like online workshops um, that you can participate in and then we did like quizzes, online workouts, online yoga sessions. So I feel like that is a big, big part that makes um, the Unilife experience so different from what you have anywhere else. Um, I really enjoyed that I had my own studio. Um, so for me, it was a big factor that I didn't want to share like my kitchen with anyone and my bathroom with anyone. Um, and yeah, I think that was the the really the selling point for me was that I had my own space um that I had the social factor on the other side so that I wasn't in my studio isolated um by myself um but that I could still go out and kind of enjoy the company of other people um and obviously you have all that that free stuff that you can enjoy that you don't get anywhere else like the Netflix and um, the coffee breakfast all that kind of stuff that you don't get anywhere, which I really, really liked and which made my life a lot easier. So you mentioned the events. Um, obviously, we like you mentioned, we did a few different ones during lockdown. Um, one of them hosted by yourself, actually, the Unilife Workout Wednesday. Yeah. Um, what were some of your favourite events whilst you were a student with Unilife? Um, definitely the welcome party, um, because for me, it was kind of, obviously, I arrived to the UK. I'm from Germany, so I'm not from here. Um, maybe you can tell that I'm not from the UK. But um, basically, I didn't know anyone when I first came to the building. And um, for me to come here by myself without my family, living by myself for the first time as well, I really enjoyed that you could meet other people straight. I mean, depending on when you move in, which the move in date is flexible as well, which I really appreciated because um, I actually drove here from Germany with all my things. Um, and the fact that we could check in, I came at like 7 or 8 p.m. at night, so it's not office hours or anything, um, and that someone is there to greet you in person, let you in, show you around, and then that you have the welcome event within like the first one or two weeks um, of you arriving, um, meeting some people and getting advice from others, I found that really, really helpful. Perfect. So obviously this year will be a little bit different um, with the current circumstances, but we do still have a full calendar lined up for everyone. So like Kim says, you'll still be able to meet all of your neighbours um, and make new friends. Um, and also it'll be a great opportunity for you and your friendship groups to explore the city as well. Um, so Portsmouth is um, obviously down on the south coast. Um, so we do have a beach here, um, which is really popular with our students. Um, we have Gunworth Keys, which is popular for the parents actually as well to come down and enjoy the Some shopping. <laughs> bit of shopping. Yeah, absolutely. The shopping's brilliant. Um, and also a variety of restaurants as well. 
Um, so yeah, it's a lovely city, Portsmouth. Um, I myself went to university here in Portsmouth, so um, I can always let you know all the decent places to go to, as well as the rest of the Unilife team. We will have our recommendations. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely worth visiting uh, Portsmouth. If it's one of your options on clearing, um, it is a great city. Um, I appreciate that at the moment on clearing um, this year, especially it is probably more stressful um, deciding where, what university to go to, which city, um, what course you're going to be doing as well. Um, and I know perhaps it's taken a little bit longer this year um, than previous years. So um, don't fret, we are here to help you. Um, so if you do have any questions, either perhaps about the university, the city, um, any questions about living with uni life, um, like Kim just explained um, some of her experiences, we can um, obviously help you out and answer any questions. Um, we do still have accommodation available in our three uh, buildings in Portsmouth. So like I said, Earlsdon, St. James and Middle Street, we do have limited availability. Um, so do get in touch with us. Um, but one of the coolest things as well, the gym, for example, and like the social facilities, obviously they're all at Middle Street. Um, but if you live in one of the other two buildings, you can still come to Middle Street and then get to know other people from those buildings as well, which I think is really, really cool that even you can do, use the gym, breakfast, um, you know, like printing facilities, study areas and all of that. They're all in Middle Street, um, which is kind of like in the center of the university quarter. And I think it's really nice in Portsmouth that the university buildings are kind of spread out like throughout the city. So obviously um, where I went to uni in Southampton, where I lived with uni life as well, is kind of you have one building and everyone's there um, whereas in Portsmouth you kind of have the opportunity to walk around the city and there's other university quarters and that all like everything's very student friendly as well which I think in the city is really really cool. Absolutely and as you mentioned as well where the three buildings are separate so just to give you a bit of an idea um, Middle Street is located opposite the University Eldon building and just down the road from us is our Eldon building and then our St. James building is located closer to Gunwolf Keys, right next to the University Business School. Um, so if you are studying business studies, I think law, maths, um, those sorts of um, areas, subject areas, are down at the University um, Richmond buildings, Portland buildings, and that's where our St. James building is. So again, like Kim says, three fantastic locations spread across um, in the different university um, building areas. So. And there is a university building close to every single of the uni Unilife location. There's like one of the buildings of the university is right next door. So you can literally choose the Unilife building that is perfect for your location. Absolutely. OK, so if we get started then, if we have a look at our live tour of our Middle Street building. Um, so I'm just going to take you through the live tour. Um, me and Kim will still be here. So just send us your questions or any comments and we'll be happy to answer. Yeah, I think that we had a, first we had a slight delay in the video, but I'm thinking that we bridged that gap perfectly. <laughs> okay, so you've all seen inside our Middle Street building um, and we've seen a couple of questions come through. Um, one of them is about the quarantine um, period. If you're traveling from outside of the UK, if you need to isolate for 14 days, um, as you can see in the video, our studios are perfectly set up for that. So you have your own private ensuite and your own private kitchen. Um, so you'll be able to isolate in, in your studio quite comfortably. Um, and obviously we have the team on hand as well to help out. Um, so if you need any help with um, shopping or if you need bins taken out or anything like that, just speak with the team and we'll be more than happy to help. Um, the laundry and all of that, that I think is quite good as well. It's like you can leave that outside your room or just let the team know and they're going to pick it up for you and bring it back so everything is perfectly set up for that isolation period so obviously when you arrive with your university um start date keep that in mind that you might um stay inside for 14 days um but most of the courses offer online access as well just in case um you can't physically come to the building right away Perfect. So as always, if you have any questions um, about having to isolate or your studio or any services that the team can offer, just let us know. Um, we'll be more than happy to help you. Um, in regards to the team, we do have um, an on-site maintenance team as well. So if you ever have any issues within your studio, um, they'll be able to attend the same day. Um, and obviously we have ourselves just walking around the buildings and we're always available, even for a chat as well and a coffee. Um, <laughs> we're happy to have a chat. 
Um, I've also just seen another question come through about parking. Um, so at Portsmouth, there is parking on the street available, um, both behind, in front and to the side of Middle Street. So three of the edges of Middle Street um, does have parking. Um, and there are different parking zones and areas within Portsmouth as well. Um, obviously, some of them will have restrictions. Um, but if you're asking about parking to when you arrive to unload all your belongings, it's absolutely fine. We've got the parking sorted for you outside. Um, and again, the team will be on hand to help. And we have trolleys as well. So perfect for helping um, get your luggage into the building. And inside, we have two lifts. Um, perfect um, to get your belongings all the way up to the studio. And there's seven floors in Middle Street that which offer a stunning view when you have it, but you might need the lift to come upstairs. And actually, in the beginning of this video, um, you saw Vicky being outside and showing kind of where the building is right across the street. Um, that is actually where we have the parking spaces for that two week move in period um, and kind of around the building as well that you can you can park your car when you check in. Um, and actually for the entire year, we have some uh, parking spaces reserved for the building, but because there's a few students that want those spaces, we need to apply um, to the council in order to get one of those. Um, so we don't have any influence on that, but there is parking available in case someone comes to visit you, they can park right in front of the building. Um, obviously, this is our clearing live event, um, so hopefully myself and Kim have covered um, any questions you've had um, so far on the on this uh, during this live event. If you do have any other comments or questions, um, please feel free to contact us. You can either comment on this post still, and we'll be able to update the comments on here for you, um, or you can give us a call, um, or you can drop us a WhatsApp message as well um, on 07834. 540245. So if you just want to drop us a message, uh, whether it's first thing in the morning or in the evening, um, we are available on the WhatsApp. Um, and obviously via email as well, you can drop us an email to yourspace at unilife.co.uk. Um, and if you are in Portsmouth City, if you come down to explore the city and take a look around, and we are on hand here as well, so you can just come into the building um, and we can show you around the different studios we have. Um, we have hand sanitizer here available and also gloves and masks as well. And we obviously have the social distance policy in place as well. So um, we are very aware of the um, ongoing situation and obviously we just wanna make sure that you're safe and comfortable. Yeah, and we're gonna leave the contact details in the comments as well, just in case any of you have questions right now or later, I think that they will be saved. So we're just gonna leave that down there so you can just click and email us or call us straight away. Perfect. Well, good luck, everyone, with your decision making during the clearing period. Yeah. Um, and once you've chosen Port, uh, the University of Portsmouth, which we really hope you do, um, and you're looking for your accommodation, um, we look forward to hearing from you. So thank you, everyone, for joining us and hopefully we'll see you soon. And good luck. Day. See you soon. <laughs> Bye.